हे गाइस टुडे वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अवर न्यू टॉपिक व्हिच इज फेट मैप एज इट्स नेम इंडिकेट दैट फेट मींस इट्स डेस्टिनेशन एंड फेट मैप्स मींस इट इन इट इज द ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ऑफ द फेट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर सेल व्हिच शोस द पोजीशन इज व्हिच शोस इट्स प्रेजेंटिंग पोजीशन राइट इन एन अर्ली एम्ब्रियो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट first of all there is uh, some important point which uh, uh, which represent what the fate map is right so it represent the fate of cell in early embryo so why the fate map we can um, predict the position of any organ or organ system in an early embryo so and it occur in multicellular organism why multicellular organism because in multicellular organism there is different kinds of cells present there and uh, uh, obviously uh, in different uh, different types of cell uh, these all have different kind of function right so cell derives from the zygote by repeated mitotic division in multicellular organism the division occur so by repeated uh, cell derived from zygote by repeated mitotic division which leads to the formation of different organ or tissue in any organism right so uh, in brief uh, what it say that fate map is the representation of uh, in the early embryo of different position of of um, organ present in any embryo right so next is construction of fate mass right so uh, there is two types of construction in the fate mass natural marking and artificial marking so uh, what it mean is that how we can predict that uh, where is uh, where the particular um, particular presenting areas present in any early embryo so uh these are of two types right natural marking and artificial marking so first of all artificial marking so artificial marking uh in this case uh, we predict the position of the organs in early embryo by artificially right so first of all vital staining marking so in this case uh, what happens here uh the so stains are various uh, vital dyes are used like nile blue sulfate neutral red bismarck brown so the uh, these dyes uh, by these dyes embryo uh, embryo stain right embryo stain by these dyes so what we do here is uh, we can pick a uh, piece of agar soaked in a particular dye and apply it on the specific position in any embryo right so uh, we can apply it on embryo without removing the vitelline envelope uh, right so uh, vitelline envelope is permeable to the particular dye and uh, we can also also use the dye uh we can also use different dyes for the different position right so these dye do not affect the development of uh, early embryo right or uh, we uh, we we don't need to remove the vitelline envelope for it uh, because it is permeable to a particular dye so these dye also do not spread over the embryo this remain localized uh, to the specific position where we want to apply it right so this is the vital staining marking next is carbon particle marking so in carbon particle marking what happen here is uh, we can take carbon particle tiny carbon particle and uh, apply to the surface of embryo and uh, these got stuck in a particular space Uh, where we want to detect the position of the embryo and uh, uh, and we can find the which part of embryo is going to form uh, which kind of organ right and in the uh, radioactive labeling uh, what we can do is uh, 
we can do is we can take uh, some radioactive isotopes to detect the position of the uh, position of the organ in any early embryo so next is and this is the vital staining marking this is the embryo present here uh, stain present over here right uh, agar gel i hope you can see it clearly right this picture uh, i i i take this picture from a uh, book named vivala rastogi right uh, next next is carbon staining marking in this uh, in this slide what uh, these uh, these all are detected the position of a particular um, particular organ in any embryo so here is lateral prey primitive streak this this is the um, words early embryo right and this is radioactive labeling uh, radioactive also known as frozen labeling because uh, after uh, after uh, it's um, after the apply of particular so it get flor fluorescence right it get spark so this is the radioactive labeling fluorescent labeling inject fluorescent dye into the cells of embryo right and here is uh, our last one is natural marking so in natural marking what happen here is uh, these are naturally colored uh, already color colored uh, particular position are already colored in early embryo so uh, the yellow part the uh, these yellow part uh, represent the muscle and mesenchymes right and uh, gray gray crescent part this gray crescent part represent notochord and endoderm this gray crescent part and a notochord and endoderm and this clear region is ectoderm this yolky region is endoderm and this uh, yellow this yellow crescent part is muscle and uh, mesenchyme right so this is all about the fate maps and this is all about the fate maps i hope you understand uh, what it is right so if you please like the video do subscribe share and like thank you